So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 12 of our F1 Manager 23 series here on the channel. Now if you didn't watch the last episode, go back and watch that one because my god we had an epic finish to it. Podium battle, Carlos Sainz coming in P3, Max Verstappen won it, Pierre Gasly got a championship point on the two stop. Esteban Ocon in at P13 on the one stop. Didn't quite get the uh, the look of the draw all weekend. Didn't have the same chassis that Pierre Gasly had. And unfortunately, didn't quite manage to get the championship points, which we've come to expect a little bit in this season. As we know, Red Bull are running away 135 points in front of Aston Martin. We're in P5 at this moment in time. Only 16 points in front of Williams, who are looking a little bit racy, it must be said. Driver standings-wise, Pierre Gasly is in P9. Max Verstappen is leading the way. Did we expect anything else? But the gap isn't huge between the top four. Now, something to bring to your attention just before we get into this weekend. Esteban Ocon's contract is up at the end of the season. And at the moment, he's not performing possibly as well as Pierre Gasly. He would be the one of the two that I possibly would let go. So let me know down in the comments, is there somebody else that you would be thinking maybe could come in and do something a little bit different for Andretti Cadillac? Let me know on that. But this weekend, we head in to Budapest and the Hungarian Grand Prix at the Hungario Ring. It is 70 laps round here, can be notoriously difficult to overtake. Low and medium speed cornering is crucial round here. Expect a strategy is a two stop. We'll have to see how we go with that. But I'm going to get through practice and I'll see you in qualifying for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Last laps of Q2. Both our cars are doing their utmost to try and get out in this very wet qualifying here in Hungary. But we've not managed to do it. It's got to be said, we got absolutely shafted on the first run in this session. And I shall tell you for why. Because every car went out of the pit lane apart from Nico Hulkenberg, who then decided to come out. And just as we got towards the end of our lap, we caught him and got stuck behind him. So that doesn't show our true pace at all. But as we fast forward to the end of Q2, we are out in P12 and P15. Max Verstappen's top both Q1 and Q2 uh, so far. He's also topped Q3, if I can get my words out. George Russell's in second. Then come the two Ferraris. We will be in 12th and 15th. So let's have a look at what we can do on the strategy. So guys, strategy-wise, we've assessed it. We've looked to see the hard compound tyre looks to come into play a little bit on these strategies. But we've got we've got a lot of choi uh, tyre choices here. We're going to start on the soft for both cars. Try and make up positions early. Then go on to the mediums a little bit earlier. Then onto the mediums again to finish off the race. So P12, P15. Let's see what we can do. I've got a feeling there might be a safety car today. I don't know why. There's a fantastic atmosphere at the Hungaro Ring as we prepare for 70 laps of the Hungarian Grand Prix. And a chance for Nico Hülkenberg to prove a point today. They've done well to secure a P9 start and they'll be keen to convert that into some points. This should certainly be a good one, folks. And here we go with the Hungarian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. And away we go and straight away we see Verstappen versus Russell. Verstappen has got the run in to turn one. We're going to keep an eye on Pierre Gasly and the back of the pack because there's always chance for a little bit of chaos here as we see Gasly and Ocon going at it. Pierre Gasly down the inside of Alexander Albon, a driver that we could possibly look at for next season as uh, Gasly decides to sit in behind the Williams. If we have a look at the tyres, it's a good mix between mediums and soft runners. Verstappen and Russell both on mediums. Leclerc will be looking to make moves early doors in this race on the soft compound tyre on the two cars in front. But Pierre Gasly, it's not a bad start from him. It's not a bad start either from Esteban Ocon. And as we come to the midway point of lap one. Max Verstappen leads away, but Pierre Gasly just tagging onto the back of the two Williams cars, but he has got a, a rather ambitious Audi of Valtteri Bottas looking to make moves here. And Pierre Gasly has got to fend this off, as has Esteban Ocon on the uh, the McLaren of Lando Norris. P40, uh, 15 and 16. He's not particularly where we want to be as Bottas does manage to nearly get the move done. Gasly not giving it up just yet as he's still been aggressive on the tyres. Manages to get that place back. 
Uh, but now Bottas will keep his nose in, and it's good, clean, fair racing from these two guys. But the Audi looks like he's got the job done, as Lando Norris also overtakes Esteban Ocon. Let's have a little look at this. It's a similar move. We can see the two guys in front, and Lando Norris in P16 in that McLaren gets past Esteban Ocon. Both cars losing positions on lap one. I'm sorry, this is one of the most ballsy now, overtakes I've seen one. on this game. Watch now, Lando Norris here. Pierre Gasly's looking at sizing up Valtteri Bottas, and Lando Norris thinks, I'll tell you something, I'm going to go down the inside here. Up into P13, what a bit of driving that is from Lando Norris. Opportunistic at best. And Lando Norris is up to P13, and now it's got to be said, our guys are getting a little frustrated in the Andretti car. And Esteban Ocon, we spoke about him before the race. He was just gone and done this. Locking up into the right-hander, and Esteban Ocon is now at the back of the grid, and we may have to try something a little bit different with Esteban Ocon for the rest of this race. I mean, I'm not quite sure how much time he's lost there. Um, it's about three seconds to Oscar Piastri, but my word, what a disappointment that is. He's cooked his tyres as well. Pierre Gasly, once again, looks out like our main hope for some points today. Lap 4, Verstappen leads by over a second to Fernando Alonso. And on lap 10, we've finally Just got some positive news. Cows. Pierre Gasly's decided that he's going to become a Formula 1 driver again and manages to get past Valtteri Bottas up into P14. Lando Norris in front of him now gets the double helping of DRS as well. Does Pierre Gasly, he's going to be on the back of Lando Norris pretty shortly. I'm expecting to start seeing him moving up through the field a little bit here, Pierre Gasly. Um, Esteban Ocon at the moment, 59% tyres. We are just seeing if there's something we can possibly do. We may even bring him in for an early pit stop here. I'm just keeping an eye on proceedings. But lap 10, Verstappen looks like he's already got this one from Alonso. Russell's in P3, Stroll P4, then comes Leclerc, Perez and Sainz. Hamilton in P8, and look at the Hassers. P9 and 10 for Hulkenberg and Magnussen doing very well at the moment. Ocon, I think he's going to be boxing very shortly. Lap 12, and that lock-up for Esteban Ocon. I mean, look at the difference in the tyres. 64% players, 50-odd. We are bringing in Esteban Ocon because we want to get back in this race, and we reckon a fresh set of medium compound tyres absolutely drive the bloody rubber off them and try and get back in this race because at the moment he isn't in it. It's not the worst pit stop in the world. 2.8. We're trying to get that sorted out as well. The uh, pit stop issues that we're having. Um, we've managed to get it down, stopping the mistakes. But yeah, we need to improve on the pit stops. It must be said. But Esteban Ocon is out in last place. But now it's time to get bloody motoring. Because he's been making too many mistakes in recent races. We are attacking on everything. We're going to push. We're going to really go for it now with Esteban Pierre Gasly is still tagging onto the back of Lando Norris. He's not out of sight of points. So Pierre Gasly is running a very different race to his teammate once again. Pierre Gasly overtaking Kevin Magnussen. He's got the DRS and he's passed the Haas driver. Now the Haas drivers were running a little bit further up. But just notice something. Nico Hulkenberg, once we come back from this highlight, has pit. And Esteban Ocon's pace in the last few laps since that pit stop has been ridiculous. At one bit, he were lapping in the 119s. It was really, really good pace from Esteban Ocon. Look at Yuki Tsunoda now dropping back as well. Esteban Ocon on these mediums, making them work. Pierre Gasly being aggressive. He's up with Joe Guan Yu, and we are fancying an undercut here. And I think we're now going to make this work. Lap 18, expect Gasly in very shortly. Pierre Gasly is into the pit stops, as is Kevin Magnussen. I've got a feeling the undercut's going to be very, very powerful here, and we are going to use it as much as we possibly can. Pierre Gasly is in. Please be a good stop. 2.8. It's not the worst in the world. Where is Kevin Magnussen? He's still in the box. Is he going to get held? He isn't, but Pierre Gasly is away. Esteban Ocon has been lapping particularly well. He's just coming out of the last corner. Is Esteban Ocon. Gasly's going to come out in front of him. He's going to come out behind the Audi of Mick Schumacher. But this is where I really fancy us to start making some moves now. We're going to start deploying on ERS. The undercut could be huge. Lap 19. Pit stops are starting. And Pierre Gasly is liking these medium tyres. My word, he's past Mick Schumacher in an absolute flash. Round the outside, did him on the break-in. He's been aggressive on the overtakes today, That's Pierre Gasly. Pierre we Gasly. know what we've got to do to get some points today. And then he also managed to get Oscar Piastri. I don't know if we're going to get a, uh, a replay of that. But Pierre Gasly passed Piastri, got Ricardo up next. 
this could be big, big moments in this race for Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly once again overtaking Daniel Ricciardo in the Hugo Boss. Did him under brakes. He seems to like overtaking at uh, that corner. But one thing I would also like to bring to your attention is remember the Esteban Ocon early pit stop. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about it. Because Esteban Ocon's early pit stop, he's gone from 20th and he's now up in to P16. So we've brought Esteban back into this race. There's a 12 second gap between Hamilton and Gasly. More importantly, we look at Joe who's yet to pit, Norris has yet to pit. These guys are going to lose a lot of time to Pierre Gasly, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Pierre up into the top 10 very shortly. Albon, I believe, is yet to pit as well. I am wondering now with Esteban Ocon, if we do the same again a little bit later on, he's got to go onto the hard compound attire to get to the end as Esteban Ocon. Pierre Gasly's got another set of mediums, but I'm keen to make sure we get that undercut because it seems exceptionally powerful around the Hungaro ring. Lap 23, Alonso is in the lead from Sainz, but both of those yet to pit Verstappen now onto the hard compound attire. Lap 26, remember Pierre Gasly between being stuck behind Joe Guan Yu? Well, no longer because Pierre Gasly is up into P10. Joe Guan Yu has come out around 10 seconds behind the Frenchman on the hard compound attire. Pierre Gasly is 11 seconds behind Norris, who's yet to pit. Then I believe everybody in the top 10 then has pit, apart from uh, apart from Lando Norris. So Pierre Gasly looking good for points today. Esteban Ocon is now in the DRS of Joe Guan Yu and making this strategy work. Lap 27. We have got a yellow flag on circuit. I haven't seen who it is. It's Joe Guan Yu fighting with Nico Hulkenberg into turn one. They just makes a little bit of contact. Um, and Esteban Ocon with his avoidance driving once again. Evasive avoidance. Oh, I'm going to work out the actual proper the terminology for that. Um, Williams obviously not impressed with Joe Guan Yu. It has meant that Esteban Ocon now can get past Nico Hulkenberg as we ride on board with this on the TV camera on this little battle. Um, Esteban Ocon down the inside should just about manage to get this job done, which he does. We're saving the ERS because in a moment we know when he pits again we're going to really burn the ERS and try and get him up as quick as he possibly can. There's an investigation. This doesn't seem to be working as well recently as Ocon gets past Hulkenberg. We're watching that live so we don't need to see the highlights again. But yeah, Esteban Ocon up to P14 at the moment just about getting the job done. Pierre Gasly closing on Alexander Albon at a rate of knots. Lap 28. And on lap 29, Fernando Alonso, who's been driving so, so well this season, decided to do this. Just got a little bit trigger happy. Yeah, what, what Managed to not crash it into the barriers. And unfortunately for him, that's brought him down to P8. Gasly dropping now to Albon. Norris not really closing, I wouldn't suggest. Let's just have a look at the lap times. We're not getting an accurate figure of that. Uh, but Pierre Gasly looking good at the moment. Ocon doing rather well as well. Lap 29. We've had a crash and this time it does involve one of our drivers. And it's Esteban Ocon down into Turn 1. Is it going to be similar to what's just happened? It is. It doesn't look like we've got any damage to Esteban's car. Little bit naive, maybe, from Esteban Ocon. It doesn't look like we've got any damage. I'm just keeping an eye on this left-hand side. We look like we're all good. Uh, but Esteban Ocon now dropped to, down to P15. Pierre Gasly is managing this gap to Lando Norris very, very well indeed. He's going on to the mediums at the end. But the pit window is open for Esteban, who now looks like he's cooked his tyres at some rate of knots. Lap 35. And he really is a magnet for other cars, is Esteban Ocon. Let's have a little look at this. Down the outside. I mean, he's just tapped him. What was the point of that? And not only that, I'm frustrated by that. But he's also cost me money again with another front wing. And I'm trying to be very, very wary of the cost cap at this moment in time. But Pierre Gasly, I was actually going to bring him in this lap anyway. Um, and now I'm definitely going to do it. And he's going to have to have a new front wing on as well. So Pierre Gas uh, sorry, Esteban Ocon will be in this lap. And just to add insult to injury, and I can't complain, Esteban Ocon has indeed got a five second time penalty, which will be added to his title. Well, he might even take it here, to be fair. Um, and you can probably hear by the sound of my voice, I'm getting a little bit naffed off with Esteban Ocon. He's going to take his five seconds now, um, as we can see. But yeah. This is uh, not going particularly well either, as Esteban Ocon is out. I'm presuming we've changed his front wing, um, because that looked um, 
yeah, we have changed. It was just an issue. He hasn't took his five-second penalty. Esteban Ocon. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. P19 now on the hard compound tyre to the wall the end of the Grand Prix. Oh, he goes from bad to worse for him. But anyway, Pierre Gasly is in P10 and still holding off Lando Norris. Let's have some good news. Pierre Gasly is in for Coming his up. pit stop. He's done a decent stint there. Has Pierre Gasly. He's coming a little a lap earlier than we possibly wanted him to initially. But this is going to be the big stint at the end. He's going to be on the medium compound attire. Will this pay dividends? We don't want any mistakes in this pit stop. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's three seconds. Where is this going to bring him out? I'm mainly looking at Sonoda and Hulkenberg. I want him out in front of them, and I think I'm just about going to achieve that. So, Pierre Gasly comes out now on to the fresh medium set of tyre. Look how shiny they are. Lovely stuff. He's now got to be aggressive on the tyre, really start pushing. We know he can get to the end, and Pierre Gasly now, it's all on him to make up these points. Uh, make up this time, sorry, in this final stint. But we'll have a little look at Charles Leclerc on this uh, this mistake here as well. Charles Leclerc locking up. Not doing particularly well there is Charles Leclerc. He won't be happy with that at all. But yes, Pierre Gasly in P12. Now trying the undercut for the second time. Will he be able to make this work? Lap 51, just to note how powerful this undercut is. Just have a look at the last lap between Pierre Gasly and Lando Norris. He's took nearly three seconds out of the McLaren driver. He's absolutely cooking on gas at the moment, is uh, Pierre Gasly. Just to bring you up today on the rest of the proceedings, Max Verstappen and Sainz at the moment leading the Grand Prix. Stroll is on a fresh set of hard, well, fresher set of hard compound tyre. Will he choose to stop again? Something we'll have to see. But Pierre Gasly is making up time like absolutely no one's business at the moment on these tyres. He could be on for a good point scoring finish here. Probably P9 is the maximum, but we shall see. Esteban Ocon might yet play a role in this. Um, he's just sat in P15 at the moment. And to be honest with you, he's been a bit of a forgotten man by me on the pit wall and probably by the TV cameras as well. And on lap 55, this is going to get very interesting indeed because Lando Norris has come out onto a set of fresh, soft compound tyres. I need those tyres to be dead by the time he catches Pierre Gasly. At the moment, Alexander Albon on the hard compound attire. He looks like he's going to the end now. It's nearly a two second gap. We could do with catching Albon, uh, Pierre Gasly. We are gonna push on to try and make that happen and get in the DRS, because that might protect us from Lando Norris. But Lando Norris is gonna be coming at a rate of knots for a few laps. We've got 15 laps to go. Lance Stroll now leads. Max Verstappen is on soft compound tires and he's very, very close behind. Verstappen's got this in the bag, Ante. This guy, honestly, he's got six months left on his contract. Last season, he was the main man. This season, I, I, I'm, I'm amazed at what I'm watching. I'm totally amazed at what I'm watching with Esteban Ocon. He's not driving the car to its capabilities. Pierre Gasly is doing. And for the last, I've got to say, for the last sort of six laps, I've just been sat looking at this gap. 8.7 seconds. It looks like we've done enough to secure a points paying position here. Those tyres are dying. Pierre's are as well. But six laps. I just need to make sure that these tyres don't fall off a cliff. But Esteban Ocon, my word. Verstappen's leading anyway at the top of the, uh, top of the uh, field. We'll have a look at that. Verstappen leading from Perez. Red Bull 1-2. Strolling P3. Sainz P4. The two Mercedes doing well again. P5 and P6. Leclerc P7. Alonso P8 after that earlier mistake. Albon in P9. We just haven't had the pace to close up to Alexander Albon today. Just interestingly, has Alexander Albon gone for a one-stop? No, everybody's gone for a two-stop, haven't they? So I was just making sure that nobody had gone for a one-stop. Probably more for my own uh, knowledge for next year. But Pierre Gasly at the moment, managing the gap to Norris nicely and managing the tyres particularly well. Five to go. What we feared may happen has happened. This is the last lap we're going to get. And Lando Norris has managed to overtake Pierre Gasly. The tyres have finally given way. And he's got double DRS as well. And we are going to come out of this Grand Prix with zero points. And oh my word, we are so, so frustrated with it. Because there was nothing else we can do. We've burnt the ERS. We've done absolutely everything to try and keep Lando Norris out of reach. But my God, we've been pipped at the post. We've done it many a time. I can't be too uh, too upset, but it's just, it was so close. We were so close to getting a point. And unfortunately, we've just not managed to do it in the way that we wanted to do. But Lando Norris, fair play to him. 
the soft tyres have worked towards the end. He took his punishment on the middle stint. And as we just see it now, Lando Norris, he's going to be buzzing with that. It's still a disappointing performance. It's another weekend that didn't suit us. But this car is not looking like the full package at this moment in time. Um, we've got to assess where we can improve. There's a lot of areas on the car we can. We've obviously just brought in as new technical chief. But we are going to cross the line. Lando Norris gets P10. We get P11. And Max Verstappen will win the uh, win at the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's a disappointing result for us. But let's get to the podium. And it's cost us a few quid here in Hungary as well. Now Esteban Ocon won't be in a hurry to talk about that race today. Well, I think most people expected them to really deliver here. But it's a disappointing finish outside the points. Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. That's their ninth win of the season. I expect them to be showered with plaudits and more. I would be amazed if anybody can stop Max Verstappen for possibly this season, maybe next as well. It's going to be a long, long road for his competitors to try and overcome him. But he does win from pole position. Checo Perez and Lance Stroll both gaining four positions. Lando Norris gaining six and the sixth position that he gained was the one that knocked us out of the championship points. Um, Esteban Ocon, it was another mistake-filled weekend from him down in P16. Driver standings-wise, Max Verstappen extends his lead at the front to 56 points from Checo Perez. Lance Stroll P3, uh, Alonso P4, Gasly stays where he is in P9 in the driver's standings. Esteban Ocon drops below Ale Alexander Albon to P12. If we have a look at the constructors, Red Bull are 159 points in front of Aston Martin. We are in P5, but Williams just keep chipping away at our lead. We've got improvements that we need to make. Hope you've enjoyed that one. It's such a signal when it ends like that and we lose that point on the final lap. But look, we're going to a new week next week. I believe it's the sprint weekend at Spa. You never know what can happen there with the weather. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. ta -ra.